I was being Rocky Balboa. That was really good. No, it sounds exactly like Sylvester Stallone. Anyway, we're back in Fight. the control room, and we are going to play one of my favorite games, and one of my dad's favorite games, too. Super Punch-Out! on Super Nintendo. Kira, you play any of the Punch-Out! games? Nope. You have any interest in boxing at all? That's a shame. Well, you know, we're just going to start the game. What should our name be? Yes! The goal of the game, you fight through four circuits, beat everyone, you become the World Video Boxing Association Champion. This is like the original and the NES and the arcade versions before it. For all of you that have not played this game before, the original on the NES, you fought, actually went one-on-one -on -one with Iron Mike Tyson at the end. But... No such deal here, you just fight completely random and in insane characters. And that's what we're going to do today on the minor circuit. We might even go through the major. And this is who I have to fight first. His name is Gabby. Grandpa. <laughs> yeah, and he's from France. You're fighting Grandpa Lou. I am, but he's French. Just, hey, I'm back in my day when I was Les Sprout. So a little Madeline come out of the school. Two by two in the lines of children were uh, 15 miles in the snow. <laughs> Gabby J! Yay! And uh, since we're equal opportunity here, I'm going to give this old man an equal amount of butt whooping that I'll give to the younger guys. And that was quite easy. Well, everyone gets three knockdowns in this game. And in the Punch Out series, you've got right, left punch, you can punch high, punch low, but you can also get a super punch if you build up your meter in this game long enough. If you get hit, you lose power in your meter, but you build it up, just hit the A button, and you are good to go to beat the living snot out of somebody. Well, your first round was a grandpa, so... Well, my next round is going to be the bear hugger. Watch out! I'm a killer! I'm the bear hugger. He's 440 pounds. That's a lot. That's a lot. He's from Canada, so i got to convert that over to kilos. And look, he has a little tree patch of chest hair. That looks, oh, okay. Yeah, this just, I thought it was part of his beard. Oh! I walked right into that one. That's okay. Now, there is a way to beat him in 17 seconds, but I am unable to right now. Because I took that one right on the chin. And during rounds, you can just spam buttons, and you can get your health back, which is really important in the harder fights. He sounds like Bill Dutry. He's Bill's Canadian cousin. Just everyone is a derivative of a cartoon character in this... We have Grandpa Lou's French brother, and we have Bill Dotrieves, Canadian cousin. But I whooped him. Two knockdowns. And I get to show off all me muscles. And I'm glad that Matt kept the green gloves in this game. Little Mac is just my all-time favorite Smash character now as well. Mine used to be Kirby and Luigi, but the newer games kind of nerfed him, so I'm a Little Mac guy all the way. Shouldn't have told everyone that, because whenever I play in tournaments, you will destroy me. And of course, Kira's favorite is... I am best with... Probably Link or Zelda. But you love Yoshi and Pikachu. I love Yoshi and Pikachu. Well, can they help us beat the number one contender, Piston Hurricane? He's from Cool. Like Roy Jones Jr. Oh man, I gotta beat up Roy Jones Jr. from Cool. Well, Piston Hurricane. 
that's from Cuba. Or as Sean F. Kennedy in X-Men First Class said, Cuba. Due to the crisis in Cuba. Well, that's just a... Boston thing? Probably. But I just whooped this poor guy. Oh no, he's getting up. I think that they skipped four when they were counting. I heard one, two, three, five. It doesn't matter, I've just wrecked him. Okay, they said it that time. For the first time I swear, I heard one, two, three, five. It doesn't matter, Little Mac just whooped him. Or, correction, our name is Tacos. What's Taco's last name? Give him like our totally random last name. His name is Taco Sakazaki. Wow. He can have whatever name he wants, but now I gotta fight Bald Bull. He's from Turkey. This guy is legitimate. He. He looks like a Yu Yu Hakusho character. A little bit. Just gets wasted in the Genkai tournament. Kind of looks like my dad. Um. Uh, Ooh, he blocked my super punch. This guy's tricky. Rapid punch him. If you press A, oh, 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 oh. Oh, I got him! He I... was like, he, he had a face like he got him in like a nuts. Give him the old peen shasa. Well, if he hits you with that bull charge, you are one hit knockdown. Doesn't matter if you have full health, you are. You are up Fart Creek without a paddle. Oh, I took one on the chin there. You're not to do that. I've only taken like what? Three hits in this round so far? Oh! <laughs> He did that short bull charge and I, and I, uh... Come on. There you go. Oh my gosh. Bald bull is no joke, especially in the first game, but... Who says right on anymore? Who even said that in the 90s? I don't think it was a 90s thing. This game was made in 94. Well, technically it's a port of an arcade version from the 80s, but... Yeah, that sounds more 80s than it does 90s. Yeah, well, Tacos is number four, beating Bald Bull in his best time. And I'm number one in all-time score. How do you like that? The new WVBA Minor Champion of the World, Taco Sakazaki. But you know what? I'm going to give the Major Circuit a try. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God, I'm just looking. He looks like a mix between like Bob Marley and Kobe Kingston. Uh, exactly. <laughs> He is such a ripoff, but it's amazing. You know what's really funny? When we, when I was a young man going to the flea market with my family, we found a guy that looked exactly like that. And my dad's like, "Hey, look, it's Bob Charlie." <laughs> I had to stop myself from laughing because he had the dreads and everything. Because that's a unique look. You gotta admit, in the last in the last circle, with the exception of Bear Hugger, everyone looks like, oh, there's a regular old guy. This is unique. Well, we have Bill Dozier's cousin. Now we've got we've got pre New Day Kofi Kingston. He's Jamaican me crazy. Try to offend anyone. Blame Mike Adamley from ECW for that one. You're making me crazy, Bob! Two, three, four, 
<laughs> Good. Well, I do have to be a bit honest about Punch Out. Let's just say, especially in the 80s and with this game, it wasn't exactly very PC. What do you mean? Well, uh, you're gonna see with the next character. His name is Dragon Chan. He's in Hong Kong, and he looks like Hie and he looks like a cross between Hie and like an accountant. Well, not an accountant, like someone lame, like maybe maybe he's the stage guy at a at a TV shoot, just one of those little mousy looking dudes. But look at him, he's wearing the little belt, he's doing the little martial arts thing. And we're not even to the part where it gets a little on the nose yet. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, but he even does stuff. The hiya! I'm like, come on, man, this is 1994. You cannot get away with that. Plus well, he's... it was a game based off... It, it, it's based in, like, the 80s, so... Anyway. Now, I'm not gonna say I, I don't have a sense of humor. Look, Blazing Saddles to me is the funniest movie ever made, but... Come on, these guys do better. Well, if all they did was remaster it, then... And I beat him up so fast that he didn't even get to the part where he goes, Wah! and just standing tries to kick you as a counterattack. Like, instead of the gigantic jump kick, he just stands there and tries to kick you. These guys in this game cheat. I don't know, maybe I was off of my... He okay, he looks like Hie and a cross between... Jose Jalapeno. Look at the head. Wow. It's totally right! Then again, I'm named Tacos. And I have to fight Rey Mysterio now. He looks like a character off of, um... Oh god, what was that? Cartoon for Lucha? Lucha Lucha? I remember there was a show on Fox called Los Luchadors. And it had wrestling, Mexican wrestling superheroes. It, was, it might have been Lucha Lucha. He looks like a Lucha Lucha character all grown up. Well, he, he definitely has a great physique for this. Ooh! Hey, and he can spit at you! That's that's just wrong. That's cheating. Oh. Ima imagine if Ronda Rousey spit in somebody's face. She probably has. She didn't need to spit in their faces, because oh. her matches were over and about that quick. Yeah, and then she quit after Holly Holm beat the living pee out of her. And she quit right after Becky Lynch beat, beat her up. Imagine Jason David Frank doing that. Well, I'm sure he would have done it to Austin St. John at some point. Ooh! And he just headbutted me! Mike Tyson can bite off someone's ear, but I can just get headbutted. Oh, dang it! I never have this much trouble with this guy. Now he's invisible? Why is he invisible? Because I got Here. spit in the eye. Oh. Enough of his nonsense. Come on, man. Okay, so it's a high punch and a low punch have to block when he does that. One, two, oh, he got all the Yeah, because I didn't hit him with a super punch. Now, if my fists are flashing, that means I can really do some damage to him. And just like that, the number one contender is down! Got it. 
And I love how the main, I love how the different circuits in this game have different map colors, different logos, different animal mascots, different music. I love how everything is just different. Yeah, because you used to have the one song, and sure the map color would change in the other one. And the sequel to this game on the Wii did the same thing, but this one just blew me out of the water. But now I gotta fight. Bring me a dream. Make him the cutest that I've ever seen. Well, he certainly doesn't look cute. Mr. He looks like a very, very angry little league dad. What'd you say about my son? I just said his hat was in, a, was in his face and he couldn't see the ball. Well, one thing I will say is that he was, like, the toughest character in the last game. He actually was the boss in the Wii Punch-Out game. That's how crazy this guy is. Oh! I don't have anyone to compare with me. One, two, three, fight! He's that one dad who... If your kid gets beat up and you're gonna go say, I'm gonna give that kid's father a piece of my mind, this is a ki kid's dad who will fight you. Yeah. <laughs> Look at his little, his little wiggle. They all got little funny wiggles when they get knocked down. All the characters. Except for little back, it just... <laughs> The animation in this game is also just excellent. Overselling. Well, with these super punches, I'm probably breaking his ribs. Come on. Oh, come on. I can't block that punch. Alright, that's it. I've had enough. Sometimes my finger slips in the controller, so I mess up a direction. Alright, well, it doesn't matter anyway. I didn't even need to use a super punch. Well, it's TKO. And no TK is not part of this game. He uh, might be. Yeah, where? What, is that him? Is that TK all grown up? Yes. Is Taco Sakazaki really Matt's little brother from Digimon? Yes. Great. The green gloves and the blue pants should have given it away. His color And let me look at the hair. Yeah, he's got Matt's... Wait, no, Matt didn't have... Well, Matt did have a terrible haircut like that. In the first season. Yeah. In the second season, he kind of toned it back a little bit. Well, I'm... Who am I third to? Okay, ABC, that's my test file on the game, and Ken Lob. Who is who is the magical Ken Lob? We gotta make up some lore for this guy. That, that's definitely Dr. Ken. Probably. But I'm the new WVBA Major Circuit Champion of the World, Taco Sakazaki. And next time on the control room, we have two more circuits. You see that one's not listed. There's a reason, but we will punch our way through that. We will see just the cartooniest things you've ever seen in your life in a boxing game. But we want to thank you for joining us, and we'll see you all later. Bye.